The heart supplies blood to the body. Blood carries important materials which are required for the body to function and to keep healthy. Blood is transported around the body via blood vessels. The components of blood are red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets and blood plasma. In this video I will focus on the role of white blood cells. White blood cells are also known as leukocytes. They make up about 1% of the blood. White blood cells fight infections to keep us healthy. So when you get sick, it's the production of white blood cells that help to fight the cause of your sickness. There are two types of white blood cells, phagocytes and lymphocytes. Phagocytes have a nucleus and they're made in the bone marrow. Neutrophils, macrophages, monocytes, dendritic cells and mast cells are types of phagocytes. Phagocytes can detect pathogens through the chemicals they release. So once the phagocytes detect foreign particles, they will travel towards the infected area and destroy the pathogens using enzymes. This information regarding the foreign particles is then passed on to the lymphocytes. Lymphocytes have a large nucleus. They're formed in lymph nodes. There are two types of lymphocytes, T cells and B cells. T cells search for pathogens. They identify these by recognizing the foreign antigens. The B cells produce antibodies. These antibodies stick to the antigens of the pathogen and kill them. They kill them by either making them burst or they can make it easier for the phagocytes to then ingest and destroy. Some other lymphocytes can produce antitoxins which make the phagocytes harmless. After your body has fought an infection, your body produces copies called memory cells. Therefore, if the infection occurs again, then your body's defense system will act quicker and will avoid you getting sick. So you become immune to that specific infection.